In this quick lesson, I'm going to talk to you about the general tab of the text tools in the Design Center. So here we have some regular text examples. I'll just zoom in on these so we can have a closer look at them. And you can see here we have all these different types of text. And when I select this one here, which is bold, you can see that in this drop down here, it tells us one what the font is, and I can change that. And it also uh, matches this up here in that drop down, that font selector. And if I change it to say italic, you can see that it automatically changes and it matches up here in the second row of tools. And if I then change it to say, for example, bold italic, it matches that up there as well. And the font on the actual um, designing area changes as well. So all these tools are working together. Uh, here's an example of superscript. And as you can see in this drop down here, which is the character style, we can set things like superscript, subscript, as you can see here, and we can set small caps, and we can also set all caps. So this sets how the actual text is uh, drawn on the screen. So if I wanted to, say, change it to all caps, simply select it and I click on all caps, and as you can see, it automatically changes it. Then I can set it back to, say, small caps like that. So there's quite some um, uh, useful tools there when it comes to different ways of setting out your fonts and your text. Now, the other thing too is typographic size. Now, typographic size is the size of the font set by the typographer, the person who's designed the font. The physical size is the actual size of the capital T or a capital H. And you can see in here, these are the sizes here. And as, as we click on these up and down arrows, our font will increase in size depending on what the uh, measurement is in these particular boxes here. We can also set the width of the font. That's sort of like stretching it. So as I increase this, it, 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 the font effectively stretches out, like so. So you can set that to a particular percentage, like so. And you can see you've got a standard italic, uh, italic amount, but you can actually set that by using the skew here. So you can make your own italicized fonts, back slant or forward slant, entirely up to you, like so. So that's how we set our typeface and our font options in these particular areas here. Now we'll go to these layout options. I'm going to show you a text box here, which is basically a container uh, that holds the text. And it uh, allows text wrapping and you can set uh, tracking and kerning and all sorts of things. So you can see here when I set this to the left justify, all the text blocks to the left. If I send it to center, it all centers. And of course, when I set it to right, it all blocks to the right, to the boundary of the text box, as you can see. Flush justify. Uh, makes the edge of the text touch the edge of the text box and force actually makes the entire lot of text force to the edge of the text box so the last line will always stretch out like that and when you set it to none it's just basically the same as block left so that's how the text justification works now tracking I'll just zoom actually I'll make this text a bit smaller so I can show you what tracking means as I increase tracking you can see the spacing between the characters actually increases so that's what tracking does. It actually increases the, the space between each individual character. So when it's set to zero, it's pretty much normal. Let's make it a little bit bigger here, and I'll show you kerning. Now, to show you kerning, that's the space between individual characters. So we're not talking about the um, all the characters. We're just talking about the ones we've got selected. So if I click in here, I can actually adjust the spacing between the O and, o and the W here, like you can see, which is its kerning. And if I want to actually adjust all of this, say this one word, I can select the word itself and I can adjust its kerning. And this is separate to any of the other text inside this text box. So I can kern uh, in, in between individual letters or I can kern entire uh, words or entire lines of text, etc. So that's the, uh, the kerning tools there. And finally here we've got this line space. So we can increase the line space. That's uh, the, the space between each line and um, we can then increase it back out if we want to. We'll set it back at 100% and we can also set the line space uh, numerically using this tool here. So that's how we uh, adjust our layout options like so. Now there's some more advanced tools for paragraph text um, or text boxes in this tab here which you can watch that lesson independently. So that's how uh, we use those tools and that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.